ask my colleagues to join, oh, pardon me, we will now turn to the business of this hearing. More than 50 years ago, the U.S. government ended Project Blue Book, an effort to catalog and understand sightings of objects in the air that could not otherwise be explained. For more than 20 years, that project had treated unidentified anomalies in our airspace as a national security threat to be monitored and investigated. In 2017, we learned for the first time that the Department of Defense had quietly restarted a similar organization tracking what we now call unidentified aerial phenomena, or UAPs. Last year, Congress re rewrote the charter for that organization, now called the Airborne Object Identification and Management Synchronization Group, or AIM SOG. For short, today we will bring that organization out of the shadows. This hearing and oversight work has a simple idea at its core. Unidentified aerial phenomena are a potential national security threat, and they need to be treated that way. For too long, the stigma associated with UAPs has gotten in the way of good intelligence analysis. Pilots avoided reporting or were laughed at when they did. DOD officials relegated the issue to the back room or swept it under the rug entirely, fearful of a skeptical national security community. Today, we know better. UAPs are unexplained, it's true, but they are real. They need to be investigated, and many threats they pose need to be mitigated. Under Secretary Moultrie, Mr. Bray, uh, thank you for coming today. Um, first, we need you to update us on the status of AIMSOG. The legislation creating it was passed in December. The deadline for implementation is fast approaching, but the group does not even have a named director. We need to know, sirs, the status of the organization and the obstacle to getting it up and running. Secondly, you have to convince the audience today, and most especially our military and civilian aviators, the culture has changed. That those who report UAPs will be treated as witnesses, not as kooks. Thirdly, you need to show us, Congress, and the American public whose imaginations you have captured. You are willing to follow the facts where they lead. You know, we fear sometimes that the DOD is focused more on emphasizing what it can explain, not investigating what it can. I'm looking for you to assure us today that all conclusions are on the table. One final note, we are mindful today that AIMSOG is not starting from scratch. This is the third version of this task force in DOD and civil society groups like so notice some shit right off the back, right? Notice that he said this is a future threat. Why it ain't a current threat? They are already gearing us for some future technology they're trying to implement on your children. They got to see the belief and agreement out there right now, though. See, this stuff take timing. See what I'm saying? Yeah, why is it just a future threat, bro? The bullshit meter is so high on this one here. Like the Mutual UFO Network, uh, Mr. Corbell and others have been collecting data on this issue for years. I hope you'll explain how you can leverage the knowledge and experience of our prior work on this matter to move the AIMSOG along. The last time Congress had a hearing on UAPs was half a century ago. I hope that it does not take 50 more years for Congress to hold another because trans And see, here go my thing right here. If they really thought UFOs was a threat like that, why would there just be little slow, prolonged meetings? You know what the U.S. do when it's a real militaristic threat? Come on, man. You so Come on, bro. Let me uh, get my headphone. Yeah, this is breaking news. I thought I was going to get a chance to get away and enjoy my time. But you know I couldn't fucking wait for this, man. Like, come on, man. Really? Anybody still believing in aliens and shit right now? You part of the problem. And I'm telling y'all, this is the new religion. 
This is the new religion. So this is what you need to know. Let's go ahead and get the footage up. Let's go on and get this footage up of the UFO. And I want y'all to see this shit. Hear me out. A highly anticipated congressional... Hear me out on this one. ...knows about various encounters... A highly anticipated congressional hearing happening today. The focus, UFOs. The lawmakers getting a chance to question Pentagon officials about what the U.S. knows about various encounters with unidentified flying Not objects. Not a goddamn Rob thing. Rob Olson joins us live with more on this. Rob? They know as much as young fellow. Yeah, you know, there's that old saying from the X-Files, the truth is out there. It might be, but the problem is the Pentagon doesn't know what that truth is. You know, the reason for this renewal. They never knew what it was with your laughing ass. Yeah, but, well, the truth is out there, but uh, the Pentagon never knew what that truth is. You, man, you know what? That's why our whole science is based on goddamn mysticism. New interest after a half century uh, since Congress last looked into this is because there's been so many reports from military pilots. So E.T. flying around, but we having hearings. That's right. Stupid. Motherfucker, E.T. have arrived. And we are having prolonged hearings about it. All right, yeah. The grand moment, nigga. Independence Day is unfolding. And this is how the government reacting about it. Y'all react harder than this. On the fucking Rico charges with Young Thug, motherfucker. <laughs> you talking about you here to protect us against foreign threats and domestic threats? By the way, this supposed to be ET out of this world. I seen you niggas act more concerned uh, 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 during Rafael Epic days. And E.T. is here, and you motherfuckers just chillaxing. Hey, man, so when the next hearing going to happen about E.T.? What? E.T. Oh, yeah, man, you know the UFOs, you know. Woo, shit, shit, you know shit. Ah, oh, man, shit, I don't know, man. Hit me up tomorrow, though, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> really? Really? If an alien came to Earth, that'll damn near be God. Nigga, out of all the years on this earth, nigga, E.T. is here. And this is the motherfucking thanks he get. Really? Stupid. So, so let E.T. came this long of a way and this how you greet him. Really? I don't believe you. No, nigga. No, no. Y'all treat Elon Musk more important than that, nigga. Now, come on now. Uh, I seen prime minister overseas get more concerned from these motherfuckers than E.T. Now, this don't seem like the Independence Day that Will Smith was in, goddammit. Now, goddammit now. Uh, uh, this one right here is the sure fine Independence Day, nigga. I got game, boy. You got the game, dude. Nigga, you know the one made in Taiwan. This the knockoff Independence Day, nigga. I'm telling you. As Congress last looked into this is because there's been so many reports from military pilots in military airspace. Where they at? I was in the Air Force. I want to see them. Where all of these dudes sent, man, I saw another alien today, bro. Hey, 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 no bullshit. Look, hey, I personally want to meet. Why ain't we interviewing these motherfuckers? They the ones saw it. Hey, I never heard a pilot in my Air Force uh, career say, man, guess how many ETs we saw this morning, my nigga. <laughs> and I was in for a while. Only thing I'm saying is, uh, yeah, uh, Mm. 
if Jesus show up and Christians act like this, it's gonna be trouble, it's gonna be trouble. Renewed interest after a half century uh, since Congress last looked into this is because there's been so many reports from military pilots in military airspace. So safety and security are the concerns, the danger to pilots, and the concern that is this advanced technology from foreign countries that's being used to spy on us. Either way it go, some shit up there that might want to harm us and we don't know what it is. And this is a golden opportunity for a new terror. T terror. You know, we always got to fight something that we can't identify like the devil. Like that's you motherfuckers worst enemy, but you ain't saw him yet. Y'all know how this shit go. They got to always give you a boogeyman you can never find. Yeah, it's some up there, and all of these pilots, man, they, you know, I get five ET reports a day, and we don't know what it is. It can be some foreign up there, but, uh, you know, we'll have the next hearing in about 50 years. <laughs> really? Really? You motherfuckers meet up every day about the crypt shit this, don't you? Not 50 years at a time for E.T. This ain't right. More than 50 years ago, the U.S. government ended Project Blue Book. There's huge historic... When did they end Project Red Book, motherfucker? That, come on. <laughs> significance of this otherwise that typical looking hearing for too long the stigma associated with UAPs has gotten in the way of good intelligence analysis pilots avoided reporting or were laughed at when they did use a goddamn lie that's your way of, of, of targeting a motherfucker that deny it so now if you laugh at UFOs or if you doubting this new scare that we trying to use to put fear in a motherfucker for some other agenda that you know ain't no good that's coming down the line, them bitches can do a fake invasion and tell you we don't know what's shooting at Americans. And this will be a good form of depopulation if they wanted to wage war against all of us. And motherfuckers say, man, E.T. got them motherfucking choppers, nigga. E.T. put up with a stick, bro. <laughs> hey, I'm going to tell you right now, nigga, when I look at E.T. Uh, shell casings, it better say made in Uranus. I know that shit, all right? You motherfuckers is playing too much, and you know that the folks so dumbed down, you can sell them this dumb shit. E.T. done put up with a stick with a uh, extendo on it. E.T. flying around playing little games and 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 very motherfucking high, right? <laughs> now, and you know what's crazy? This is the reaction that the pilots got when they just saw ET. Hey, I would have been—I would have been farting all in that motherfucking cockpit, nigga. I don't understand. Stigma associated with UAPs has gotten in the way of good intelligence, nigga. I would have been ah ah ah. The fuck? Nigga, that's an alien, bitch. You crazy, nigga. That ain't human right there. What you joking about? You should be shooting. So that's how you laugh when you see the Taliban flying around. So you see an unknown flying object that can possibly be a foreign threat. And this is the response. Let me play this back. Gents analysis. Pilots avoided reporting or were laughed at when they did. How you dumb motherfuckers gonna say that the pilots got laughed at for reporting it when the pilots is laughing while they reporting the shit? They don't even believe it. <laughs> Stupid. Bullshit me to what say you? I know it ain't going down. And I'm telling you right now, I just don't understand. How can you 
be mad at me for laughing at the dumb shit when the pilots that saw the shit is busting out laughing. These folks can put, and, and I'm gonna show you how you know it's bullshit. Watch this. Oh, go ahead. <laughs> That motherfucker sound like he's just shot shot from the uh, half court and it went in. Listen, I'm going to turn the TV off, right? That don't sound like you saw a UFO. It sound like you just shot from half court like Steph Curry and it went in, motherfucker. Listen to that, y'all. I'm going to take the video away so you can hear him. <laughs> and he left his hand up with it. He left his hand up with it. Stupid. Pilots avoided reporting or were laughed at when they did. Oh, go ahead. <laughs> this is the first time in five decades that Washington. That ain't an alien response. That you just crossed the nigga over, broke his ankles. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. You're not going to pull that one off on this guy. I'm sorry, bro. No, bro. <laughs> And, 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 and I don't see what, what y'all recorded. All I, and that's what I'm saying. The Pentagon can give a dumb little motherfucker a little blurred footage. And they'll be like, boy, you see that UFO? And the nigga from the Pentagon who put the shit out will be like, you know I didn't put a UFO in that footage, didn't it? That's him talking to his buddy while y'all look at the UFO on a picture. He in a corner told this buddy like, ain't no UFO on that shit, bro. It's a static screen. That's all I gave him. The UFO is in their mind, Craig. It's in your mind. <laughs> the dude who leaked this footage somewhere smoking a blunt like, everybody ready for the grand joke? And this all his buddies. <laughs> and he said, guess what, guys? Tell him, Randy. Hey, guys. There's no UFO. And that's when everybody starts motherfucking busting out laughing. As the whole fucking world point out the UFO in the blurred footage. Y'all are such sheeple. You're such sheeple. A nigga can get, and, and this coming from the Pentagon. They got better footage of Osama bin Laden, bro. Now you know that's Stupid. crazy. Come on, bro. Motherfuckers got battle footage of the sun bro let me show you a video of the sun bro they got and you know that this is fake ass bullshit but i just got the joke on it to show you how stupid people is now check this out y'all just hear me out this is video footage of the sun which is 93 million miles away and burning at degrees that you can't even fathom in your head. And look at this good footage. Look at that glorious footage. Now here is the Pentagon's footage of goddamn E.T., y'all. Stupid. Stupid. Y'all, ain't no way you got better footage of Pluto. Do you know how far Pluto is? And this goddamn... UFO supposed to be right here within the heavens, right? And all I get is the TV looking like back in the day when all the channels cut off, nigga, back in your mama them days. <laughs> really? Really? So you mean to tell me the footage that we got of the sun? And we know how hot. And what camera ain't melted yet right there? We ain't gonna even talk about that. Only thing I wanna talk about is ain't no fucking way you should have this crystal clear footage of the sun. But when you want to show me E.T., this is what my tax dollars got me. <laughs> if, if you don't take this bullshit and shove it, you fool. Making all that damn money with all that fancy equipment. You got James Bond shit. But you capture E.T. and this is what we get, huh? Boo-boo paper. That's what we get. No, but you trying to hide some behind some blur. See, this, you want this shit to be like, ooh. Because, motherfucker, who's still shooting in black and white?
Oh my motherfucking God. Y'all, you know I got a roast and drag and clown this bullshit. Because people too govern, you motherfuckers got me working overtime. I was done for the day. Now this is a goddamn shame right here what you looking at. That you could give a motherfucker blurred lines. What was that Pharrell song? Blurred lines. <laughs> hey, who's still shooting black and white, bitch, and you the Pentagon, ho? <laughs> come on, bitch. <laughs> Fuck that. The Pentagon come out with their goddamn footage about the ETs. And the theme song for your goddamn ET footage just so happened to be. <laughs> bitch, no. If you don't take this Andy Griffith, and bitch, I think Andy Griffith was in color. You got, motherfucker, the, the World War I is in color right now, bitch. You still, now come on now. E.T. gonna get off that ship and say, I heard that you got some video footage of my whip when I was cut through the sky. Let's see it. And the Pentagon gonna be like, yeah, we captured your vehicle. I'm glad y'all friendly. And then he gonna be like, yeah, but let's see the footage. And when E.T. see that footage, he ain't gonna be friendly no more. He gonna say, this the best recording technology you got, bitch. In all my glory, I arrived and you filmed me with the same camera that they shot motherfucking Andy Griffith with, ho. Fuck wrong with you. Taking all of goddamn people money for this goddamn blur. What the fuck? And you yelling like you saw some shit. You ain't saw shit but the shit that's in between channels, motherfucker. This is the first time in five decades that Washington lawmakers... That, and, and that some bitch just a cackling, ain't he? Ah, hoo, hoo, hoo. Hoo, 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 hoo. Shut your ass up. All these motherfuckers is actors. You want to convince me you just sound uh, li like you just saw E.T. Bitch, it sound like you watching a chicken fight. And your chicken just won. His chicken just won. <laughs> <laughs> this is the first time in five decades that Washington lawmakers talked on the record about UFOs, <laughs> now rebranded unidentified Mitch. aerial phenomena. Since the early 2000s, uh, we have seen an increasing number of unauthorized and or unidentified aircraft or objects in military controlled training areas. Motherfucker, you just can't identify everything in the sky any goddamn way. That's y'all problem. You always asking niggas for ID. Show me your identification. If you can't identify, oh, well, I see shit all the time in the sky shooting by. Pew, pew, I be like, oh, I make a wish, bitch. Make a wish, ho. <laughs> bitch, make a wish and go on about your date. Obviously, E.T. ain't stunning your ass. Why are you trying to get the whole world scared? They can show y'all these blurred images shot with Andy Griffith motherfucking camera. And when a nigga shot that shit, they was listening to that R uh, for Rail song. That uh, blurred lines, nigga. Fuck you talking about. E.T. put the bump in this bitch. Up. With that blurred ass shit. Pharrell should have shot his video right there with the same camera. <laughs> Pharrell should have shot his blurred lines video <laughs> with this same camera right here. That they put that they shot this, this bullshit with. This is the first time in bitch. five decades that Washington lawmakers talked on the record about UFOs, now rebranded unidentified aerial phenomena. Since the early two. Now I'm gonna tell you what that is. They trying to get y'all scared of, nigga. I'm telling you right now, nigga. That is a moth. I'm telling. That's a moth right there. You know, moth. They fly by my camera all the time. See, these folks want y'all to be scared of Mothman. That shit don't scare me. If I was in the military and I was a general and a Pentagon gave me this bullshit footage, 
I say, yeah, man, so what's for breakfast tomorrow? <laughs> Bitch, you thinking E.T., I'm thinking omelets, motherfucker. That's what General Sanchez will be saying. Bitch, Dennis, Dennis the hardest. This is no concern, Mr. President. I assure you it's just a little mosquito. Go back to goddamn work. Stupid. Bullshit. And all this footage and black and white or it's just green as fuck. We can't get E.T. in color now, can we? Only time we can get a shot of E.T. in color is in the Hollywood movie and we had to give his ass Skittles to do that. But at least he lit his motherfucking hand up. Goddamn. <laughs> Unidentified aerial phenomena. Since the early 2000s, uh, we have seen an increasing number of unauthorized and or unidentified aircraft or objects. Who cool. you can't, bitch, you can't at all. So if you identify, you can authorize it, you dumb fuck. See, if we can just ID ET and he can show me some ID, then we can authorize his travel. Is that what it is? You just trying to give him authorization in your airspace. I thought you said he was a, a threat. You just want to make sure he got an aviation permit, you damn dummy. <laughs> yep, Brother Sanchez, we don't think he's a threat. We just want him to beam us up so we can check his pilot's ID, and he's safe to go out to that, man. You know, free to travel, brother. It's in military-controlled training areas. Uh, and training ranges and other designated airspace. Last summer, the Pentagon released this reported. You know everybody who believe in UFOs still believe in the Easter Bunny, Santa Claus, uh, Incredible Hulk, Two Fairy. Admitting that they could not explain 144 sightings by military pilots over 17 years. Hey, it's some nigga right now in Wyoming. And he looking at this blurred video saying, you don't see the UFO yet, nigga? It's right there. And he got a fucking tooth under his pillow, too. Stupid. Talked on the record about UFOs, now rebranded unidentified aerial phenomena. Since the early 2000s, uh, we have seen an increasing number of unauthorized and or unidentified aircraft. And you know, I've seen an increasing number of bullshit on the bullshit meter. What says y'all, goddammit? <laughs> this is so much bullshit, I don't want to see a cow defecate again in my life, motherfucker. Traffic objects in military controlled training areas uh, and training ranges and other designated airspace. Last summer, the Pentagon released this report admitting that they could not explain 144 sightings by military pilots over 17 years. So let me get this straight. When Jesus come back, he going to save 144,000. And a number of people that saw the motherfucker was 144. What's the chances of that number at, uh, uh, popping up there again? I, I, I mean, you could at least made it 143, motherfucker. If you would have said that, I would have been like, well, the alien let 143 motherfuckers see him. Maybe that's the code for I love you on a beeper, motherfucker. Now we know they friendly. Oh my gosh. We're all going against the wind. The wind's 120 knots to the west. Oh, thank you. That followed the... There's no way this guy is gonna be scared of this goddamn floating dumbbell in the sky. Nope, I would've told them, President, y'all scared of that shit? Man, quit playing, I would've smacked them on the show. Hey, President, look what they scared of. Hey, let me see that blurred shit real quick, bro. Hand me the, hand me the key. <laughs> it couldn't have been two black men and President, especially if they was from Compton, and you trying to get them scared of that nigga? That's why it should be a real black hood nigga for president. Because when you take a hood nigga this footage, he going to say for real, like how Iverson said, practice, practice, for real, for real, for real, like a meeting, nigga. 
Like, God damn, I'm telling you, they can make everybody scared of little shit like this. I swear I ain't, ain't a scared cell in me, but there's some people out there like, ooh. These videos released in 2020. Look at the floating goddamn Tesla T in the, in the sky. Money taken by Navy pilots showing unusual, unexpected. Yeah, right. You really want me to believe that we're witnessing the end of the movie called The Signal, nigga? Really? I'm, I'm not going to believe it, bro, because that's what that shit look like. This is crazy. Uh, I don't know what to tell you, but uh, I'll show you this real quick. Because this is what this shit look like to me. You know the end of that movie, the signal. That's literally what that shit looked like. Yeah, you want me to really think that this is the ending to the movie called The Signal? Like, let's blow that up, Becky, one time. These folks think I'm a fool. I'm going to show you how they plan with y'all. To show you how they plan with you. Look at this shit here. Right? That's how they plan with you, bro. This is crazy. Look. So you really want me to believe that this is the ending end of the, of the movie, The Signal, bro? Stupid. <laughs> really? Okay. Explainable flight movements, in some cases, no discernible means of propulsion. Reports of sightings are frequent and continuing. The Navy's deputy director of intelligence saying since that... Dude, that is a roach on the ground. Quit playing. <laughs> hey, look, it's some dude playing a joke like a motherfucker. He said, he said, you know the... Uh, you know, they, they coming up with the dude that can fake the best footage on y'all ass. You know, just like everything else be fake in Hollywood. Like, uh, for real, the people who believe in this footage, you know, when, when people punch in the movies and it be like, Psh! they really think a punch sound like that. These folks mind in Hollywood, they think in life if they punch somebody, that shit gonna be like, Psh! Hey, somebody got to tell them fools, like, bro, that's somebody uh, punching some celery. Go look it up. Like, bro, that ain't the sound of no punch, bro. Bro, that's somebody stepping on celery. Bro, everything fake in Hollywood. Psh, yeah, bro. And, and I'm telling you, they know how to fake certain shit with camera tricks. And I just find it strange that it's the year 2022 and God damn it, we, we building a CERN machine that's finna allow time travel within a hundred years. And this is the kind of footage that the Pentagon giving us for UFOs. Come on folks. Really? We got drones that can personally carry humans. Bro, we, we, got, we got personal aviational vehicles. And in the next 10 years, there'll be humans that's flying and they ain't pilots, personal flight vehicles that you can fly with. Them. And you mean to tell me the Pentagon still going to be giving us this kind of footage? Bro, Neuralink is here, nigga. Neuralink is here. And they still... Who the fuck in the Pentagon got a black and white camera? We want to beat him up immediately. Where's that man at? <laughs> Tell that nigga we ain't needed a cameraman for Andy Griffith in goddamn 20 years, nigga. <laughs> Tell that nigga him and his camera take their ass back to Mayberry.
This is bullshit. All of the footage that I get of E.T. is some green, blurred out night vision shit. It's some Andy Griffith style Sega Genesis 16 bit uh, blurred up bullshit. And, bro, it's motherfuckers with cheap cricket phones with a better shot than that, nigga. I'm serious. It's a nigga right now with a flip phone <laughs> that can get us a better fucking footage than this, bro. You, you're not going to fool this dude right here. No, bro. Not with the Andy Gr Griffith camera, bro. No. No. No, bro. I'm sorry. How the fuck we got 3D printers, right? <laughs> and this is the footage. <laughs> oh, you gotta be fucking shitting me. Really? That report, there have been now nearly 400 more sightings. Um and all 400 of them motherfuckers shot with the same nigga camera who used to film for the Andy Griffith show. <laughs> so it don't matter, motherfucker, if you give me uh, 400 blurred motherfucking in images, nigga. How the fuck you got better footage of other galaxies, Andromeda, and all this shit? <laughs> but you motherfucker, some shit right within the clouds. You can't get a good, uh, uh, you didn't use your best camera today, uh, Sarge? So it's 400 motherfuckers that saw E.T., and all of them left their iPhone at home. Because if I was a pilot in that cockpit, I would have said, fuck that, chief. He would have been like, what you doing? I'd have been like, I'm recording, bitch. What you talking about? This is my only chance to get E.T. And, some, and a good shot of it. He'd be like, sir, use the Sega Genesis camera. I'd be like, Sarge, I'm not going to film this shit with that Mayberry camera. Let me use my iPhone. Nope, we want it in black and white. We want it blurred than a motherfucker. We want it the way they got to squint their eyes, bitch. Nope, do not use the good camera today, Sticky. bitch. So you got 400 sight. <laughs> so listen, motherfucker. So look, you got 400 motherfucking sightings of E.T. and everybody left their good camera at home. <laughs> What's the chances of that in 2022? Oh my fucking God, the Pentagon, really? Hey, every, every American right now need to be up in arms. Hey, we need to tell the president, walk us to the camera room in the Pentagon. And he gonna be like, sure, but no gasoline and lighters allowed. No, bitch, we burning these cameras up. It's 2022. I can go get a disposable camera from CVS and get a better shot than this bullshit. The fuck you talking about? Massive rise they attribute to pilots no longer afraid of ridicule. <laughs> he showed one example of something they've now... And we can never get it in color. It got to be with the heat seeker goggles, the thermal imaging behind a wall, blurred as fuck, black and white, behind a cloud, under the ground, in a nigga pocket. Oh, the camera was shaking. Oh, it moved too fast. It got the all, oh, you can't definitively just make it out, right? It got to be up for speculation. Like, it's like some dude that's in charge of this shit saying, man, that's too good of a shot for E.T. Blur it up a little bit. Hit the blur button. And the dude come by like, here you go, boss. What you think? And boss like, more blur. And the nigga like, uh, Sarge, uh, what you think? Nah, hit it with some more blur, son. I still can see E.T. Whose job is that? He get paid that much just to blur that shit up? Come on, I want to be a blur, man. How you sign up for that? Hey, I want to sign up for the, uh... I want to be the dude after he take the footage to fuck it up for y'all put it out, right? Or to tell him, look, please, whatever you do, do not record a good shot of E.T. We're going to fire your ass. I think that's part of the rules. I think it was too many pilots getting these good shots and color and shit. And the general was like, we got to do something about this.
is too many advanced cameras in the Pentagon, boss. You know them, oh, and they went up in the attic, nigga. Ain't nobody been in the Pentagon attic since America became, since it was built. And they went up in that bitch and, and put oh, and opened up the top. And it was them old Mayberry cameras in that bitch. And uh, a light bulb came on in Sarge's head. He said, we're going to film it with those like a fool. <laughs> now determined to be drones, but another of something they have no idea what it is or how it travels so fast. Uh, and it quickly passes by uh, the cockpit of the, uh, of the aircraft. I told you through a parachute, through a fishbowl, see a nigga shot this through Cyclops' eyes. Who the fuck used the Cyclops camera? I told you they got all the niggas filming with Kalidia scopes. Niggas showing up. Guess what? I'm going to show you. <laughs> hey, hey, I swear to God, y'all. I saw the motherfucking camera that they filmed that shit with. And here it go right here. <laughs> Hey, 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 hit, hey, hit go the camera, y'all, that they filmed that shit with. <laughs> hey, hey, Sarge, it's 2022. This, this the best you got, sir? Sarge, like, oh, they got another sight and bring the camera, and he got to wind that motherfucker up like a fool. You can never get a good shot of E.T., huh? E.T. came to Earth, and this nigga came out to film him right here and one, with one of these bitches right here. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. Y'all can never get E.T. with the iPhone. Oh, shit. God damn. Movements. In some cases, no discernible means of propulsion. <laughs> Reports of sightings are frequent and continuing. The Navy's deputy director of intelligence saying since that report, there have been now... You ain't gonna tell me if I did a chat vote right now and if I put in there roach or UFO. Every nigga from the project know how a roach move. These niggas filmed a roach with the fucking uh, camera that was made in the year 43, bitch. Your camera made when the earth was made, nigga. That's the camera you use. And 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 and, and they found the, a, a roach going across the floor. And they said, boy, if we blur that, that'll look just like a UFO, nigga. <laughs> I'm, t I'm telling you right now, don't nothing move faster than a scared roach in the hood. And if you just so happen to get that shit on a camera that was made when the earth was made and you can blur it up a little bit, you can't, you can't tell a nigga that ain't no UFO nigga. I'm telling you. Watch this. Nearly 400 more sightings, a massive rise they attribute to pilots no longer afraid watch this. of ridicule. He showed one. Hey, all my hood niggas, watch how this shit move and tell me that ain't a project cockroach. They ain't showed me nothing new. Continuing. The Navy's deputy director of intelligence saying since that report. Yeah, been that, that's what they do, right? When you get your foot like that, they, they too fast before you can get it down. They zip like a UFO. I'm telling you. Now nearly 400 more sightings, a massive rise they attribute to pilots no longer afraid of ridicule. He showed one example of something they've now determined to be drones, but another of something they have no idea what it is or how it travels. How you gonna know how it is if y'all keep recording that shit with one of these, man? Put that goddamn accordion up. Everybody in the Pentagon, I'm making a new rule starting tomorrow. Film with your goddamn personal devices and, 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 and quit using the company camera because apparently they haven't upgraded them. They need to holler at Beyonce around this motherfucker. So fast. Uh, and it quickly passes by uh, the cockpit of the uh, of the aircraft. And is this one of the phenomena that... So, 
Okay, let me, boy. We can't explain. I do not have an ex You can film all this shit on this and with these crazy angles and, and, and equipment, but you can't explain it. Okay. Explanation. So it's, we got something on camera. We don't know what it is. The footage ain't definitive, but we want you to be scared about it, though. We need you to be scared <laughs> about the mystery that we can't explain. Sound like the new God, don't it? We can't explain this God. He's so m mysterious, nobody can never quite record his face or get a good shot at him just like this blurred footage. But we want you to be scared of him, though, because he's smarter than you. For what this, this specific uh, uh, object is. We have our... Uh, I just told you what it uh, was. It's one of those cockroaches with wings. You know the, the tough ones, they, they're aviators. These cockroaches can fly. I believe I can fly. You know, everybody know what I'm talking about, man. Come on. Our inquisitiveness. Uh, we have, yeah. have our questions. We want to know what's out there as much as you want to know what's out there. You don't want to know what's out there with them Klingon wrinkles on your forehead. You don't look like you want to know what's out there. This is crazy. We want to know what's out there just as much as you want to know what. I didn't say I wanted to know what's out there. Quit speaking for everybody. They don't, they love to do that, don't they? <laughs> like, like, what if everybody would have cut him off right there and be like, <clears throat> sir, uh, we don't want to know what's out there. We don't give a fuck. We just want to know when y'all going to lower taxes and clean up the water and the air and all that old shit. We ain't trying to sit next to you and discuss blurred footage that was shot with the same goddamn camera that was around when motherfuckers was, 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 was coming over here on Columbus ship and shit. See how they like to tell you what you worried about and what you scared of. Before you know it, you be agreeing with him. Ain't that some shit? We want to know what's out there just like you want to know what's out there. What if everybody be like, oh, man, we don't care what's out there. What we eat for breakfast tomorrow? <laughs> He'll be like, what? What? So you don't want to know? No, nah, we don't give a fuck, man. Let E.T. live. Really? You're not scared? You should be scared. But be like, but, bro, you just wasn't this scared a minute ago. You, you getting crazy. <laughs> See what I'm saying? That you'll get one of them moments. Now he got to force you to be scared and worked up when he just was going to deliver that shit come and collect had you just accepted it. Y'all know I ain't lying. That's that bullshit. We want to know what's out there just like you want to know what's out there. So we can find out what's out there. We're going to have to invest in this, raise taxes on this, Bring, it's, a, it's an agenda behind this shit, man. It's an agenda behind it. Uh, we have our questions. We want to know what's out there as much as you want to know what's out there. Yeah, and that reference to the idea that, you know, are these aliens? Is this extraterrestrial life? Well, obviously, there's a very big... See how they jump in the gun already? That show you the agenda. I'm telling y'all, this ain't a good agenda, man. It's some on the horizon. Mark my word, y'all. It's some that they're, tr they're going to bring... And I really believe it's going to be some sort of new attacks on the people, all worldwide attacks. If the governments of the world wanted to directly just attack the populations with force and decrease them with some new technology that can just wipe out populations, they would have the stage ready to do that because people would say, man, the aliens attacking and they fucking hands would be clean. They'll have already the scapegoat implanted in your mind. So, I mean, 
if they had some new technology to wipe us out on a massive scale, because we know that the plan was for them to decrease the Earth population by 2050, that ain't number 25 years from now where they said they want to go from 9 billion to under 2 billion. That's a lot of killing that you got to do in just 20 years. That's a lot of damn killing that you got to do in the next just 30 years. So my prediction is within a 30 year time frame, if they really going to answer to, to that whole depopulation promise, we probably start seeing a new kind of terror on earth. And it's going to be an interplanetary fear now. And that's way worse than some fake Taliban type shit and all that. That's way worse than fake ass ISIS and all that. Because now we got an attack on earth, not just America. We got that grand, that's the, uh, that'll be a perfect reason for, like, uh, re for them to go ahead and bring forth the revelation plan where all the nations on the earth come together as one big army. All of the forces on earth unite into one world police force, one world government. Why? Because we got to now, it's us against the aliens. And we know these folks got blue beam technology and all kind of technology to create certain phenomena in the sky that'll make it look alien. The technology that they coming out with, it looks alien. So you wouldn't know the difference on who the fuck attacking you. And they want to keep the lines blurred that way, which is why they keep showing us this distorted ass footage. Because if we can really get a good eye on who the enemy is, if we can make out, this is what, what's going on. This is what y'all got to realize. You may say to yourself, our government got all this high-tech technology. Why the footage that we get of alien, aliens look like bullshit? It's green and night vision goggles. It's blurred. It's moving too fast. You got the technology to slow the frames down. All this tech, like I said, these people got better footage of the sun than of aliens right there above the clouds. All they footage blurred. And I'm trying to tell you why. You ready for it? Check this out. If they can give us a definitive, accurate picture of what this is in the sky, guess what we can do? We can see symbols and writing on this vehicle. So if it was an alien, we would know because we would say, look, somebody zoomed in on it and we can make out the markings on it. And we never saw these kind of writings on Earth. This looked like some alien type language and symbols. But if you zoom in on that shit and it got a United States flag on the back of the goddamn tail, then hey, see, they don't want to give you no footage that's accurate enough for you to identify the object, which is why the UFO phenomena has been going on for over fucking uh, 70 some years now. It's a fucking psyop. S uh, unidentified flying object. You niggas can identify any nigga in the ghetto right now within 30 minutes and do a roundup. When Pearl Harbor attacked, they rounded up every Japanese in America within 24 hours, had them all ID'd and logged in. These police and authorities ain't got no problem identifying your motherfucking ass. They found Bin Laden, bro. They just think of the shit Navy SEALs do. James Bond level type shit. But you still ain't identified these flying objects that's in our air as a threat. You identified every nigga selling dope in the hood. <clears throat> you even identified Young Thug, Gunner, uh, every nigga for RICO laws. Y'all are so good at this. But you haven't ID'd E.T. yet. He's still unidentified. But yet you still giving me an identity for some shit you said I unidentified. And the identity that you giving me is a green man. You're planting that in everybody's mind that E.T. is flying that shit. 
but you won't let me see the writings on this thing so I can see if it's made in America or Uranus, motherfucker. <laughs> the truth is out there. So why haven't you identified it in over 50 years, but you've discovered new planets, <clears throat> you discovered new galaxies, you have discovered new universes, you done discovered how to upload the mind out the body. You done discovered how to time travel. You done discovered the Large Hadron Collider. Motherfucker, you've discovered immortality. But you ain't discovered E.T.'s identity yet. Damn it, this is an elusive little green bitch, ain't he? <laughs> this is like Waldo, nigga. This trying to, you trying to find Waldo in this bitch. <clears throat> These motherfuckers, I'm telling you. Them motherfuckers found glowing fishes at the bottom of the ocean where the sun don't even shine. But they ain't identified these objects right there in the clouds. Can't even get a good picture of them. But we got pictures of other galaxies that's light years away, y'all. Stupid. We do want to turn now to the search for answers to the unexplained. A series of unidentified aerial phenomena spotted by military pilots. What are we talking about? Unidentified aerial phenomena? Well, we usually just call them. You just going to change the name every year, right? Next year is going to be unidentified apparatus in the ether. And that shit is going to be unidentified kites in the clouds. And after that, it's going to be unrecognized avionics above the ground surface. And after that, it's going to be levitating devices within the atmosphere. And, and it's going to be a new fucking abbreviation every year. But one thing is for sure, you still ain't going to be identified it yet, dummy. This guy is not a fool. You ain't going to fool me with this damn blurred shit. UFOs. No. Well, Congress is holding a hearing on them today for the first time in more than 50 years. And our Martha Raddus joins us now. Martha, we're not expecting really any E.T. jokes uh, with this. And you, now that it's an attack against E.T. jokes. I told you, ufology is a religion, man. They got the technology to make these advanced beings our gods. People, these folks are creating synthetic organisms in a lab right now, the first man-made li man living organisms with a consciousness. It's a matter of time for that is upscaled to some sort of beings that these guys, the first man-made sort of beings that's humanoid. And Man, if he was to create some more advanced than a human to rule over the human and to be our new overseers, right? You think they would let us know? They would just unleash it on us as if it took over. We didn't have nothing to do with it. Hey, we're scared of it too. You get what I'm saying? If these, these folks got uh, robots that can run fast as hell, do flips, shoot a gun, lift up shit, and move like humans. If a robot just started attacking us, we would fucking know, hey, man, who made these robots? Hey, is somebody, we would automatically start pointing at humans, scientists, governments. We know ain't no regular motherfuckers uh, got an army of cyborgs attacking the masses. The people would immediately look like, hey, what the fuck y'all, what's, what's going on? And, and, and you see, and, and especially when, when the, uh, so, so think about this right here. If they had, if they were 3D printing beings, say 5,000 of them a day getting 3D printed, 
uploading a consciousness in them, all of them part of a blockchain, boom. A whole underground army, like in that movie, uh, what was it, I, Robot? When they was ready to unleash that army onto the earth, the Battle of Armageddon and shit, they would never unleash that shit telling us they did it. They would say, it's an alien invasion. And ironically, everybody that would be dying would be the folks that they want dead, the useless eaters. And you would be like, damn, why the fuck is these aliens ain't killing no politicians and rich people and all that? They seem to just be killing the uh, sheeple. <laughs> uh... Are, are, are the aliens program not to? I mean, yeah, that's what that's what. I'm, and my theory ain't no way that UFOs is flying around the air, and these people got this kind of expression on their face. Just look at it. Does that look like the facial expression of Earthlings who just confirmed? that there's other life, intelligent life, for the first time ever flying through on the earth. There are other beings like us now. E.T. has arrived, and this is what your face looked like? People, the joke's on y'all. This takes place. This is serious stuff. You wouldn't have to say it's serious stuff with a smirk on your face if it was serious stuff. Your motherfucking body language would look like a nigga who know that aliens are here. And I don't know if y'all know, but if there's any fucking body that I have a concerned look on their face when they found out aliens are on Earth, it'll be black folks, especially a black nigga. I'm sorry, niggas is not fucking with no aliens. Niggas will start holding meetings all around the world. Nigga, that'll unite the blood and crips right now. There's no way a black man really believe E.T. and them showed up and he's smirking. And you really believe it and you telling me this is serious stuff. Nah, bro. Niggas don't, don't have a smirk on their face when the ops pull up in the hood, let alone E.T., you dummy. <laughs> yeah, man. A nigga ain't got no smirk like that on his face when, it, when the ops pull up in the hood. We do want to turn now to the search for answers to the unexplained, a series of unidentified aerial phenomena spotted by military pilots. What are we talking about? Unidentified aerial phenomena? Well, we usually just call them UFOs. Well, Congress is holding a hearing on them today for the first time in more than 50 years, and our Martha Raddus joins us now. Martha, we're not expecting really any E.T. jokes uh, with this takes place. This is serious stuff. We're not expecting any ET jokes. Uh, with this tick, see another way to start censoring something else. Hear me out. I'm telling you what's gonna happen. You UFOs finna be the new fear, the new global warming, the new religion, and it's these new artificial beings that they making. I believe they're gonna make them to rule over us. They already making robot dogs to police humans. If that ain't a fucking smack in the face of your inhumanity, a robot dog has authority over you. That ought to make you mad. Just think about that. Just think about a few years ago when you took your goddamn child to the store and your child say, Mommy, buy me that dog right there. And it was a little robot dog. And you put the batteries in it and you put the stream back and it said woof woof and it start to walk and light up. Now that damn robot dog made your son happy. What if I told you nigga today it's a robot dog policing your motherfucking ass. <laughs> in, in other countries and they gonna implement it on the world. Yeah nigga they gave motherfucking Clifford a badge. 
Yes, nigga. They got Beethoven in the field, bitch. Yeah, robot Beethoven policing y'all motherfucking ass. This is bullshit. Clifford giving niggas tickets nowadays. Mm. Dogs used to be man's best friends. Now is man's worst goddamn sergeant and deputy on the interstate. Isn't that right? <laughs> the police went from having dogs to being replaced by dogs. Isn't that right? <laughs> One of my favorite shows used to be Dog the Bounty Hunter. It's a new version out starring Clifford, guys. You should check it out. Yeah, the world changing, man. Whatever that they trying to promote with this, it's going to be what they told you. Something that's more advanced than you, that's going to overpower you and take over and police you and it's a, some intelligent being. But government will continue on. And that's how you know it ain't intelligent enough to stop Walmart, Burger King, and none of that, nigga. It ain't intelligent enough to stop the smirk on these niggas' faces. If, if, if this shit was real, you wouldn't even be bringing up E.T. jokes. You already want to censor the community that's saying we don't believe it. We ain't scared. So that's what I'm telling you. If niggas act like me and be like, nigga, that's a joke. Ain't nothing to be scared about. You a threat. Because this is the new fear that they trying to promote. So if niggas acting like me, that's a threat right there. They might take this down. <laughs> Let me get the hell up out of here, man. Let me finish this joint. It, it is serious stuff. It was the late 19... Man, that blurred screen ain't serious. That motherfucking cockroach on the ground ain't serious. You know, they always want to push this new scare out there. This is serious stuff. Let me see the footage. Where is it? It's right there. Did you see the little light flash by? Where is it? Rewind it. The little light. Wait for it. You saw the little light flash by? This is serious stuff, man. We need to get scared. You didn't see the little light? Zoom it in. I know it's blurred, but it's a little dark. Watch it. Oh, yeah, we should be so scared, man. Look at this little, look at it. See that little black thing right there? Ooh, ooh, it just did a zigzag. Oh, man, we should fucking get, oh, we should fucking start dropping on our knees praying to Christ. You see what I'm saying, bro? Oh, look at the little dot that just flew by. Oh, it's a light orb. Oh, shit, I'm shitting my pants. 1960s when UFOs were last discussed in the Capitol Hill hearing. Back then, you would have been thought half crazy for even bringing up such an idea, but not anymore with the House Intelligence Subcommittee today probing top defense intelligence officials for answers to some very real mysteries. Whoa, let's get close. It was the videos. A goddamn black dot on a white background in 2022. This is what the fuck you show up with to convince me about aliens? Oh, my God. We're so gullible. We're so gullible, man. Really? Every fucking video I see is some little stupid shit like this. I'm telling you right now, that can be anything, nigga. Let's look at it. That were impossible to ignore. And so were the witnesses. Released by the military in 20... A liberty ball. Now, what I'm going to get scared of that for? That's the God ball, by the way, which is just a boogeyman fear. Like, they want me to be scared of this little ball, bro. You see what I'm saying? A motherfucker zoomed in on their auntie mole and said, we can convince them that's a UFO. <laughs> Come on, bro. Really? Witnesses released by the military in 2020, you hear stunned Navy pilots off California's coast in 2015 wondering out loud 
what the heck they were seeing in the skies. <laughs> Former Navy pilot Ryan Graves telling GMA the encounters with these Man, everybody know that the U.S. Navy got flying saucers. Look at this little saucer back there in the background behind the Navy. You see it? Get the big screen up. See that? They talking about they got a flying saucer with the Navy. Yo, I can show you footage right now of the United States Navy got 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 their own flying saucers. Here they go. At Langley Air Force Base, man. Langley Air Force Base got flying saucers. They've been had them ever since you. What's the odds of when a U.S. Uh, military started testing their own flying saucer devices? that they start having sightings. Think about that shit. They first started building these at Roswell. Think about it. You think that's a coincidence that when the United States started experimenting with this kind of uh, aircraft, that's when we started seeing sightings. And the sightings were always around the, U, the the bases and stuff. Why you think all of these sightings are around the bases? And they they don't want to tell us about this new aircraft that they got. So they saying it's alien. It's it by these images show it's military, but you will never see this on the news though. You will never see images like this. This will never make the news. They always going to say it's a foreign threat, some one of our enemies, or it's an alien. They want to, in the news, they want to always jump to scare you, fear propaganda to promote another agenda down the line to make shit harder for you. They immediately hop to, it's something to be scared about. This is serious. Why didn't nobody say, well, y'all know that the United States Army, the Air Force, and the Navy got their own flying saucers, and since these things is around military bases, hey, you think they're testing in these areas? They like to give us so much news. Why don't they tell us when the military is testing this advanced aircraft? Why is this so secretive? The Pentagon want to release so much information. Why won't the Pentagon open up their mouth about this kind of aircraft at Langley, at Roswell? Because it'll blow the lid off of their media deception. The Pentagon want to leak everything now. Everybody want to talk now. So let's go on. Since we talking about flying saucers and UFOs, why ain't the military telling folks, you know, we've been testing flying saucers for a long time. And this is how far we've gotten with the technology that we can make the motherfuckers levitate off the ground. Right. Why don't people show videos like this? Why are there so many channels going viral talking about E.T. and Anunnaki? And the aliens coming back. And the Biru coming. But ain't nobody saying about the coming horrors for the earth that's being planned by those in power as they prime you up and for your own destruction. And, they, and you won't even know where the, where, the, where the enemy coming from or who the enemy is because your mind's so indoctrinated with pseudoscience and bull crap. Why ain't these photos I'm showing viral? Why ain't these kind of photos more viral than all the bullshit you see on the news? Come on now. Why? The, every American ought to know what they tax dollars being spent on. After all, y'all the news, right? You don't think this is important news for children to know that, hey, our our Air Force know how to build flying saucers. So that ain't a news that's worthy to report. So we're not going to let Americans know 
the shit we can explain. We gonna keep making news about the mystery, what we can't explain. How much sense that make? All these news channels, we don't know what it is. It, it's a fly saucer. It could be E.T. It could be an enemy. We can't explain it. It's mysterious. Well, let's talk about what we can explain, that the Air Force, the Army, and the Navy know how to make this mysterious type aircraft. Hmm. If, if the news came out giving us that kind of news, some real shit, it'll, it'll, it'll blow the spookism and fear mongering away. Why don't Americans know that they military is capable of making this same aircraft? Because if Americans knew that, they wouldn't know that it's going to be they fucking military attacking them if, if, if this shit is used on them. And they don't got to man it with human troops. It can be manned by AI. Remember that. But I'm going to get up out of here, man. I got to go. Hope y'all got something out of this, yo. And uh, salutes to the people that's uh, supporting the show for your boy coming back going overtime. Uh, salutes Melissa Smith and Miguel Gonzalez and uh, Zay. Salutes to uh, Huma Phoenix as well. Hey, I'm going to get up out of here, man. I'll see y'all Thursday. And I may go live on my uh, backup channel tomorrow. Sit down with Sanchez live podcast hump day Wednesday.